So we're in Mudbox, and I want a rough outline of the eyebrow geometry. In a separate layer, let's start painting the density map. Now, the geometry is showing the full volume of the of the eyebrows. Since the eyebrow follicles will have length, we don't need the density map to cover the entire area. We need to, to fill it up to about here. So if we were to paint the eyebrow follicle length, it would look something like this. We also want to leave a little bit of room on the uh, inside. Now let's go ahead and export the maps. We'll export them to the source images density folder. We'll see that it exported the eyebrow density map, but it's using Autodesk's uh, UV naming structure. So I'm going to use a UDEM naming converter that you can find on ArtStation uh, under JJ UDEM converter. And there we go. Let's build out the eyebrows in Yeti. So let's start with a Yeti node and we'll name this Kurt Eyebrows. Create the Groom node and we'll name this Eyebrows Groom. Add the Groom to the Yeti node. And then the graph editor, again, so that we don't have to start entirely from scratch, copy, paste over to the eyebrow Yeti node, delete clump, and leave the creation nodes. We're using the same geometry, so we don't have to change that. We are, however, using a different groom node, so let's rename this eyebrows groom, and point it to the eyebrow groom node. Now in the maps, let's go to the source images and find the eyebrow the eyebrow maps that we just created. Update the UDEM variable. And that should do it. Now let's turn on the scatter node to see the scatter points on the surface. So let's go into the attribute editor and increase the display density. Turn on the grow node and we're not seeing anything. Since we don't have any any information in the groom node, nothing's happening. So let's just go ahead and delete that connection. Now we can see that it updated with the with the hair fibers. So we know that it's working. Now we have to add a few strands to shape the eyebrows.
now we have the eyebrows in a pretty good state so let's go ahead and add the eyelashes now since we're using such a thin growth area I'm gonna use a selection set so let's create the Yeti node name it Kurt eyelashes let's create a groom node name it eyelashes groom let's add the groom node to the Yeti node select an existing network and copy it over same growth geo so let's just update the groom node we don't need the texture node so let's connect that back up and let's add the face selection set turn on the scatter node Let's turn up display density to 100 and we got scatter point so everything's working well now let's add some strands so let's set the initial strand length to 0.15 now let's check the segment length so we don't have enough points so let's uh, set this to 0.03 I think 0 0.03 will work. Okay, so we have enough strands. Now let's see what it looks like. So in this case, what I want to do is use the strands radius of influence so that we limit how far from the strand the fibers will be created. Let's try setting it to 0 0.1, maybe 0 0.05. But this means that we need more strands, so let's go ahead and fill in the the eyelashes a little bit more What I want to do is update the growth area so that we don't have two rows of faces. 
go ahead and update that. Now we're working with the single row of faces. Let's copy the copy the strands over. Now we have eyelashes.